I know is so explosive. Welcome, Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News, and it is December 14th, 2014. I hope you guys are having a happy holidays, and uh, we're uh, doing really good over here at Climate Viewer News in our third year. Um, unbelievable that we've come this far. Um, I started out creating Climate Viewer News three years ago um, after I mapped out some pollution files using Google Earth, and I decided to make a website devoted to my Google Earth maps, and it has blossomed into this massively beautiful website before you here today. Um, I've expanded my team over at Climate Viewer News to include Bill Narr, Christina Consolo, Marie McLaughlin, Pete Ramon, and we're still looking for more people to join us and we want to grow Climate Viewer News. We want to expand our categories of interest um, and really focus on our, you know, I specifically am going to focus more on the pollution aspects this coming year. Let's get everything really mapped out as quickly as possible so that we can make some headway on a lot of these issues that have plagued us for too long. For too long. So how are we going to do that? Well, um, being that it's December, every year we have to pay for the server for another year. I don't e-beg from you guys all year long. We don't run ads on the site. Tried it. Doesn't really make any money. But every year we're going to need your support for us to grow and continue to do what we're doing and expand our capabilities and I'm going to give you an idea of what those capabilities are right now because I don't think everybody really knows and uh, explain to you why it matters. So uh, just for reference over here uh, your account is set to expire 1-28-2015. Uh, That's when we pay the bill every year and uh, that keeps climateviewer.com online and growing. Um, we're going to do a donation drive. It lasts for about 30 days. So over here on give and uh, what I would appreciate is if you guys could show us your support. And you can do that a couple different ways. Uh, specifically, you can give time. If you want to join us, join our team. You can become one of the next members of our team. Uh, i give you an example of what that looks like. Uh, Rad Chick, she covers radiation research and mitigation. And Rad Chick is amazing. So for Rad Chick, we put together a radioactive map and what it shows here is nuclear power reactors and the um, upcoming rainfall total so she was calling it the fallout forecast I called it the nuke map we both win if you click on this sucker right here it's going to take you over to our climate viewer 3d app and already go ahead and turn on some layers for you and what you're going to see is it fail because we're going to get to that in just a second but google earth is acting particularly stupid again i'm just going to start it again um and it'll automatically turn all these on now you see the rainfall totals that are going to occur you can see the nuclear emergency tracking centers cpm totals thank you harland and you can see all of the nuclear reactors in america as well as worldwide which there are quite a few now if you click on any one of these you're going to see a picture of the facility, the information about the facility, and a link to um, the Wikipedia page. So each one of these from the entire world, all the nuclear power reactors, each one deadly accurate with their location. You can come down here and look at them. There's Robinson. See? And I made sure I put the dot right on top. Now, each one of these files probably took me two weeks, three weeks. Now, altogether, there are... 141 layers on Climate Viewer 3D of different pollution related maps, um, all of which took three years to make. Now Google is closing Google Earth. So Climate Viewer 3D will not be here much longer. So I'm going to take you on a little tour real quick. Now I've clicked this link. I'm going to go down here and hit show all layers. And that'll take us back to a full version of Climate Viewer 3D. And you have alerts. This shows you stuff like earthquakes, volcanoes, fires from around the world, Ebola outbreak, flu outbreaks, FEMA disaster declarations. All of these are real time. They come from the government um, in most cases directly from the agencies that create them. The sources are given here and you can download the file yourself for Google Earth, Google Earth um, the application. Get it while you can. It's not going to be here long. We're going to get to that in just a second. And you can come over here expand a little tree, double click here, go to the earthquake, click here, it'll open it up, tell you all about it. So that's the idea in a nutshell. So we got real-time alerts, 
we have weather so like the forecast convective forecast you know hurricane trackers we got next red radar stuff next red animation so you can see like the animated uh next red loop by coming up here and grabbing this little bar and dragging it over here and you know then you can see all of the animations for the radar so all of this is real-time information you have overlay real-time information with a bunch of uh, important locations to see what you come up with and it's a it's a dot connector okay chemical weapons dumped at sea like this click these chemical weapons dump site and it tells you what's in the water there lots of really crazy stuff you've never seen anywhere else in the world um, and I want this to stay on the internet I want this to be available to the public and the only way we're going to be able to do that is to upgrade our server now um, apparently Google has now dropped Google Earth from Chrome and it's go going out of Firefox maybe by the end of the year and it says here announcing deprecation of Google Earth API however Earth API is built on a technology called MP API plugin framework and recently for security reasons both Chrome and Firefox have announced they're removing support for this framework so Chrome and Firefox are dumping Google Earth plugin which is what runs all this so here let me show you what you're not going to be seeing if we don't upgrade the server you're not going to be seeing nuclear test explosions all of them all 2053 nuclear explosions yeah that damn many let me zoom in there real quick just so you know I'm not playing with you these are the nuclear explosions that happened in Nevada most people don't even know there were this many in America but God you should if you zoom in here you can actually see the holes in the ground let me go over here I'm gonna click the little options button here and I'm gonna click on terrain and you can see there are holes in the ground see and each one of these has been mapped out by a gentleman named LMCKE, I believe. It's from the Google Earth forums, and I added the little pretty icons to it and made sure it all mapped up, and then put it in Climate Viewer 3D so that you can see all of the nuclear explosions that ever occurred. Those will be going away. Um, 50 nuclear nightmares, Chernobyl, the Three Island, uh, Three Mile Island meltdown with fallout chart. Here's Chernobyl. I mapped it in 3D. The radiation releases, you can click on this and see all the information about it. Same with the Fukushima Daiichi meltdown, where it occurred, what happened, what the pictures look like, when it was destroyed, all that stuff. Um, Google is getting rid of this, so we're going to have to come up with something better. And I think I have a plan, and it's called cesium. And we're going to do that because you guys should know about this stuff you should be able to come here in our 3d app and see about all of the cesium that came out of Fukushima and spread across the ocean um, among so many more things worldwide power plants every single one of them check this sucker out you come in here let's pick a hot spot okay come in here shows news natural gas oil wind farm zoom in some more it'll fill it up and then you zoom in some more and it'll fill it up these are all the power plants of the world Lindy power plant fracking America um these are all the fracking wells across America this is quite a file here and that came from the fracking chemical reports as you can see it's a big file <laughs> so my point is I put a lot of work into this stuff so that you guys can come in here and really get an idea of how messed up the world actually is. Drinking water impacts, co contaminated coal waste ponds, shale basins, bayou corn sinkhole. Um, we mapped that sucker out. The local townspeople were using the information that we mapped out uh, to, to really take it to the guys who did this to them. And they basically had a blowout that made a huge sinkhole next to their town their towns right here their water's contaminated they've got problems and it isn't getting any worse but we're, we're that's what our intention is to do to go out there and find the facts map it out make it scientifically available so that nobody can argue with them um and there's so much more work to do we have so much more work to do you know when they're up here fracking in alaska in the middle of very delicate um, land you know this stuff should not be allowed to occur of course I'm gonna hit one that's not the one I was looking for but anyway 
Um, these are a concern, major concern. When they're up here fracking, all along our uh, pristine, frozen tundra, bitching about global warming and climate change, and all the while fracking every inch of the world, um, somebody needs to tell. And the only this is the best way I've been able to come up to tell. And uh, I want to continue to do this. I want to continue to do this for quite a while. So come over here. Check out Climate Viewer 3D while you can. Look at it as much as you can. Download the files. Back them up yourself. Um, all of this stuff is open source, and it was meant to be that way. You got geoengineering projects of the world, weather modification projects. I hear everybody talk about this stuff all the time, the chemtrails. Um, why has nobody looked at this file? Earth observing lab field projects. Come over here and look at these things. These are uh, f straight out of NCAR. Snowed under. Yeah, these are all uh, continental scale international project enhanced annual observing period. And th these are atmospheric transport, CAMEX convection and moisture experiment. Each one of these, you know, nobody has a clue. Nobody has a clue. And I wish people would use this material while it's still here, and hopefully we can find a better way to do this sans Google Earth in uh, the near future. So what, what I did was, uh, first of all, I went over to the Google forums, and uh, I, I complained quite a bit. And uh, myself and a lot of other developers are considering going over to something called Cesium. And it's, I'm here over on the Cesium dev, and even they're going, wow, you know, Google just dropped Google Earth. I guess we're going to see a lot. I, I'm guessing we'll start seeing a number of people trying to port their applications to Cesium in the near future. That's me. So um, what we're doing over here is trying to fire it up and get the, the Cesium thing going. Let me show you what that looks like. So this is what the future of Climate Viewer 3D is going to look like. In order to do this, we have to upgrade our server. Um, the way this works is with something called Node. It's Node.js. It's a it's a framework that must be installed through a secure shell and normal servers won't allow you to do that and uh, we're going to need a hoss of a PC to do it so let me show you what this thing does talk about fantastic um, this is one running D3 let's look at it this shows you a chart it's also charted here and you can come up here and flip the little mode now if that ain't cool I don't know what is. So this is WebGL. It does not require a plugin. It's open source, and this is what Climate Viewer 3D will look like just as soon as I get it programmed and can put it on the server. Hopefully, with your donations over this next year, we will have this sucker up and running and map all of the pollution files, the real-time data that you saw before. We're going to bring it to this app. Let me give you another example because these are absolutely phenomenal. Um, Let's see the satellite one because people like that. Where's it at? <laughs> satellite viewer. Now, AGI, the people who made cesium, tracked the satellites for the government. And they're pretty darn accurate. And as you can see here, these are all the satellites. And you can click on them and it tells you about them. Now, you can do that right now with Climate Viewer 3D. It doesn't have this really cool graphic. <laughs> Patrick, you guys are amazing. Patrick made cesium. Patrick Cozy. Patrick, you guys are awesome. <laughs> Freaking cool. This is like a video game. I can't wait to do this. Well, anyway, if you come over to Climate Viewer 3D, you can do the exact same thing. You go to Other, and you click on Satellite Tracker. And they turned it off. Break my heart, guys. Anyway, so, yeah. So that's down. <laughs> So we'll have a satellite viewer coming soon, back to Climate Viewer 3D. But as you can see, the clusters of satellites, those are the satellites. Did you know? I mean, did you know? So this is going to be fun. We're going to have an amazing uh, 2015. There's lots to do. Um, we're going to upgrade the Climate Viewer 3D. It's going to have this really sexy WebGL, cesium-based, non-Google Earth, non-Google open source app i can barely wait to get it up there and then um what else let's see what else we got so we're, we've also been i've also been putting together timelines okay so we had a couple research timelines i'm going to give you an example of two of those real quick we had a weather control timeline a chemtrail timeline and a space weather control timeline so on these each one basically breaks down 
one topic. So space weather control is HARP and ionospheric heaters and sounding rockets and barium releases. This one is weather control, so pluviculture, cloud seeding, geoengineering, and all types of weather modification. And you can see that it's very well referenced. Starts in the 1800s. General Dryhand's fourth, aka Dryenforth. He got uh, money from Congress back in 1890 to go blow up the sky down in Texas and didn't make it rain one time, so they called him Dryhand's fourth. And the story goes on. Uh, Ohio rain wizard Frank Melbourne. Effects of rain making. This is from a newspaper clipping back then. And then Steiger Vortex rain making guns. These are also known as hail cannons. Uh, CW Post, he made it rain down in Texas as well. And then Hadfield, um, of course, did the San Diego. I got LA because of the song, but Hadfield, who made it rain for uh, San Diego. So to for the next year, for the next year, what's coming up? I've actually purchased a, another domain. This is also on our same server. So we're going to need room to fill this one up. And this is called the weather effect. What I'm doing is I'm combining all three of those timelines into one. And I wrote this from scratch using Bootstrap. At the top, you're going to see upcoming geoengineering conferences. So this is specifically only about weather modification, geoengineering, and people modifying the skies. So I'm going to put the harp stuff in there, the chemtrail contrail stuff, and the geoengineering weather modification stuff, plus a lot more. What's it going to look like? Like I said, I did this in Bootstrap. I'm very, very proud of myself. I taught myself web, um, web pages design about two years ago to put the Climate Viewer 3D together. And I wrote this from scratch. Um, I write it in Sublime Text, as you can see here. And here is the index.html that I wrote. And these are the layers. All of those buttons on the sidebar, each one of those has a layer associated with it. And it says source and all that stuff. All that techie, you know, all you coders out there know what I'm talking about. But this is a, this is a JSON file that basically lists out all my layers. I wrote a program to then make buttons out of all, all that. Had friend from a guy named, help from a friend named Seth to make this possible. And now, you know, it's open source. It's free. Anybody can use it. But Google Earth is going away. So we got to keep it going, and we're going to do that. Um, but anyway, the timeline I also wrote to, to put them all together and, and make it easy to use because this other timeline software we were using, it's limited. I can only put about 150 entries in it. That's why there's three timelines. But this one, sky's the limit. Click here. You got a picture. The Storm King, James Pollard, Epsi. References. Click the reference. Pops up in a little window. You can go read it. Ain't that great? Ain't that neat? I'm so proud of myself. Sorry, I'm going to get giddy right now. So anyway, image, image. Each one of these has a timeline. You know, the same stuff as you just saw in the other timeline. But if you click here, click on this link, you can copy this and share it to a friend. Say, no, this is the part of the timeline I'm talking about or bookmark it for later so that you can come back and finish up where you were at. Um, and it's completely... Uh, since it's bootstrap, I made it mobile friendly. No app required. It'll shrink all the way down. <laughs> Is that sexy? That's sexy. I must say so myself. I'm very, very proud of it. And you guys can go ahead and check this out. It's I'm I'm partially done with it. I went ahead and converted the rest of the timeline, the weather modification timeline. So up to about right here at 1891, that's where I stopped and I gotta go finish the rest of these that say flicker. They work currently. It'll bring up a little flicker dialogue, but I got to get my pictures off of Flickr. It costs like 60 bucks a year to keep them over there. Anyway, so until then, check this stuff out. This is uh, stuff we're working on for the next year. There's We got a long way to go, and we got a lot to cover. I, I hope you guys continue to support us over here at climateviewer.com. You know, um, I think I, I'm so excited. I have so much going on. You know, I, I, as soon as I get off of here, I'm going to be adding a social media portion to the site it should be up at climateviewer.com slash connect and we're going to use a open source version of something called oxwall which will allow us to have our own facebook because i'm going to be leaving facebook i've had it um, we're not going to get censored anymore we're going to use something open source and i'm going to put it on climateviewer.com for myself and other like-minded activists and it will be free you will be able to use it there will be no tracking there will be no saving your data aside from what's standard and i will never share slash sell that with anybody um 
There's, I have yet to meet somebody out there who said it was all free in that way, and it truly was. So I have morals. I'm going to build it myself. I know that I'm not going to screw myself, so I'm not going to screw you either. Um, and you'll be able to verify that. So as soon as I get this up, I'll share that out. I'm planning on doing that when we get off the phone. So as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to do that. Then my next order of business is trying to get cesium running, followed by finishing theweathereffect.com. So lots to do. I'm a busy, busy man. Uh, I do it for free. Uh, you know, haven't made any money off of it, and I don't, you know, ask you guys for anything all year long. The only thing I'm asking you for today is to help us do it another year. So please come over here to climateviewer.com, click on the about or give. They both go to the same place. And uh, you can either give time by joining our team, helping us, you know, spread the message, get your message out there, or um, give money, contribute to our drive directly. We really need that. Um, we've got till I, I put January 15th here. It's actually Jan January 28th, so I'm going to extend that now. Um, but that's our deadline. Everything has to be paid off, and then we won't bug you again for another year, and you're going to get some really awesome stuff this year. Um, I cannot wait to get this sucker up and running. But we're going to need a bigger uh, starship, guys. So please help out. Please continue to glow, um, grow climateviewer.com. And, you know, you can also give your voice by sharing. Sharing is caring. And unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. So I love every one of you. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. I hope you have a happy new year. And I hope you stay tuned with Climate Viewer News because we're going to do it even bigger next year. <laughs> This is so fun, and we are winning. So no fear. Have a great Christmas, and I hope to see you here next year. Gotcha.